What's poppin'? Don't mind me, just watch it. Heard your verse, let me top it. Pick a flow, any flow, I mop it. I bought trying to make high profits. I bought that snow, I sock it. I saw what I wanted, I copped it. Lights all let the shit get toxic. I thought that I should switch topics. I lost the train of my conscience. iPhone is in my right pocket. Try calling in, I might block it. Cause I gotta hustle. Stacking my tips like I'm bagging at ruffles. Niggas is married, we not just a couple. No, I got a family, we not finna struggle. What I be doing, I do for the Hi guys, it's been a really long time since I posted a peanut butter chocolate cake, and I realized if you followed me recently, you probably haven't seen it. I usually go live when I make these, so I haven't filmed a video in a while. But it's chocolate cake with peanut butter frosting, a chocolate drip, chocolate sprinkles, and then Reese's cups on top. Normally, I wouldn't have this ombre up the side, but the person that ordered requested it. It was chocolate icing, by the way. But here I am adding my drip. But if you do join the launch, I usually show how to do it. I've also been going live with my floral cupcakes recently. So if you want to see those too, I would recommend joining. And I like showing how to do a border on them too. I think going live is like a good way to do a tutorial and answer all the questions. By the way, this is my most popular cake, but I've actually never eaten a slice of it. I counted and I've made it 17 times. But here I am adding the sprinkles and then I'm going to add the Reese's cups in a second. It's always so hard to make sure they peel without like the peanut butter showing inside. Do you guys have any tips on that? But here's the final product. Bye! Hey guys, here's a cake I made last week before I went on my trip. It was a chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream. This one seems to be one of my most popular orders and I don't blame them because chocolate cake is my favorite. I also wanted to say thank you to everyone who follows me and supports me. I finally reached my goal of getting 100,000 followers and I actually hit it a couple months early. I had a goal for myself in December that I wanted 100,000 followers. So when I saw that I got it over this past weekend, I was so excited and so happy and I just couldn't believe it. A couple videos back, I mentioned how once I hit 100,000 followers, I would make a course for you guys. So if you guys could leave a comment letting me know what kind of things you want to learn, that'd be awesome. And then I'll get the course started for you guys. Thanks so much to everyone who's following along, and I hope you guys all have a great week. Okay, so here's me making my famous s'mores cake. It's chocolate cake with that toasty marshmallow filling, uh, graham cracker crunch, and then chocolate ganache and chocolate buttercream. It is absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite cakes, not only to eat, but also to make because it has so many elements. Um, and I just love the graham cracker crunch. Like it's, I hate when I see people putting like raw graham crackers in. These are like toasted with butter and cinnamon. They are delicious. I would just eat them straight up from a bowl with a spoon. Um, and, but I'm obsessed with s'mores, so I might be a little bit biased. And by the way, the voting is still open for the Greatest Baker 2020. Um, it's free to vote. I know on the, when you click on the link in my bio, it says like pay for a vote, but right underneath that, there's a free vote option and you can vote once every 24 hours. So if you voted yesterday, feel free to vote again today. Uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. I can't tell you what to do, but I would greatly appreciate it. So let me know what you think of the cake. Thanks. I'm sure you all know that one chocolate cake in Matilda where the kid Bruce had to eat it all and you were low-key jealous because it looked so good. Well, here's how you can make it at home. Luckily for you guys, it's literally the easiest chocolate cake recipe you'll ever try. You just mix all the dry ingredients, throw in the eggs and melted butter and then pour in some hot coffee. And don't worry, this doesn't leave any coffee taste behind. It just helps bring out the chocolate flavor and take us to the next level. So once you get this runny smooth batter, go ahead and bake it and then while it cools, you can make the ganache. You heat some cream in the microwave, pour it on the chocolate, mix it together and then once it's cooled, you should get this really creamy spreadable ganache. And then you can just spread it between and all over the cake layers and you're done. Just look at how good that looks. I didn't even put my blood, sweat and tears in it, but I still feel like Miss Trunchbull would be proud. And they taste like chocolate cake There aren't words to describe that anyway and Though I don't say that much, oh no Always stuck inside my head But when you walk into the room And my mind forgets everything but you Who would rather be talking instead? I know you'd like to know what's on my mind But I got these walls up that I tend to hide behind
Hi guys, my name's Jill and I decided to spend my whole weekend making this wedding cake for myself and I don't really know why I did that, but whatever, let's go. Okay, so I started off making some vanilla cake, which I've never made vanilla cake before and I realized I have a reason because I hate vanilla cake and it was gross, so I started over and made some chocolate cake instead. Took it out of the oven with my bare hands, of course, then I cut some of the layers into these smaller circles so I could stack them all up for the top tier of my cake. It's <coughs> weird for me because I realized that I've never made a two-tiered cake before, so this really made it a very crazy experience. Okay, anyway, I coated it in buttercream, then I popped that baby in the fridge to chill where I got to work on my bottom tier of my cake and if you can't already tell I was going for the naked cake sort of thing here so I left some of the cake like poking through it's sort of this like rustic look I don't really understand it but it's a trend I guess so whatever okay then I dripped down some caramel on the sides of the cake and I got to work on stacking the cake back up so I had this fun little tiered cake now apparently I also got some flowers and I assembled those all over the cake and it looked kind of fancy I was like whoa Jill too bad you made a really fancy wedding cake and it's not for an actual wedding whatever it's fine so I cut it up and I ate a lot of it and it was really good okay I Here's another chocolate recipe for when you're on your period. Today, we're making Claire Saffet's chocolate buttermilk cake from Dessert Person Part 7 of 105. Start by combining your dry ingredients, then melt the chocolate, coffee, and cocoa powder over a double boiler. Take it off the heat and stir in buttermilk and vanilla. It should start to look like chocolate pudding now. Cream your butter, sugar, and oil, then add one egg at a time until fully combined. Now you're gonna alternate between adding the dry ingredients and the chocolate mixture with three additions of the dry ingredients and two additions of the wet. I could honestly just eat the chocolate batter like this, but we said we're gonna make a cake, so let's make a cake. Level out the batter until flat, and yes, I'm using a toaster oven to make this three-layer cake. Cut off the tops for a snack later, and then we're gonna start to assemble. Make sure your cake is fully cooled before doing any frosting, because otherwise your frosting is just gonna melt. I'll show you how to make this super silky chocolate French buttercream in another video, but for now, enjoy. I've made this cake a million times, but it's still my absolute favorite. So you mix together the dry ingredients and then the wet, and then you mix until it completely combined. Pop it into the oven and it comes out super decadent and fudgy and perfect. For the buttercream, add the sugar to the egg whites and melt over a double boiler until it's not grainy anymore. Mix on the highest setting possible until it looks like marshmallow fluff. Um, add the butter and mix until it's silky and smooth and creamy. Add your flavoring of choice. I love strawberries. Um, and then it's time to decorate. This is my favorite cake because it tastes like eating brownies with fresh strawberry ice cream and it just makes me so happy. I 
top it with a ganache drip, which is just half whipping cream and half chocolate melted together. And then I decorate the top. It's the best cake. I know it's extra, but it is so dang good.